Uh, I got this giant box sent to me. Oh, it's literally huge. Like, I don't think me and the box can be on the screen at the same time, like, completely. But the only return address it had was the UPS store in California. So, if we blow up, it's not my fault. Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Craig, AKA Flipperoni, but a lot of people just call me Flip. But on this channel, we smoke weed, talk about weed products, and just kind of chill. If that sounds like something you'd be into, hit that subscribe button. It's like right here. Today's nickname was brought to you by Whitney Ayers. What's up, Whitney? Thank you for another dope ass nickname suggestion. If you guys have a suggestion for what my next nickname should be, leave that in the comments and we'll see if we can get to it at some point. And in today's video, I don't really know what we have, honestly. Uh, I got this giant box sent to me. Oh, it's literally huge. Like, I don't think me and the boss can be on the screen at the same time, like completely. But the only return address it had was the UPS store in California. So if we blow up, it's not my fault. But I figure we could open it and see what the fuck is in here. It's New Year's Eve right now. So that's fucking cool. Where is my knife? I hope everyone has some dope ass New Year's Eve plans. We'll probably go to like a small shindig of some sort. I'm just going to cut this thing off the top. We'll open this part first, I guess. Put the rest of the box down on the ground. Hold that for a second. Danka. All right. We'll get into the rest of the box in a second. So yeah, I don't know who this stuff is from uh, because there was no return address on it and no company sent me like shipping information or anything. So we're kind of going into this shit blind, praying to God that it's not anything disgusting or like they can kill me. Good luck. We didn't blow up. That's a good sign. Inside here is like a bunch of posters maybe? What is this? This is just like a ton of posters in here. I don't even know what this shit is. What is this? Oh shit! This is from the homies over at fucking Cake! Alright, so Cake is like a Delta 8, uh, Delta 10, and they do like HX, HX, HXC cards? I don't fucking know. I'll put that shit up on the screen somewhere. Uh, but yeah, they sent me a bunch of fucking posters and shit. Oh shit, alright. There's literally just like a ton of fucking posters in here. Like, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Alright, we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna open the actual box and take a look at the actual cake shit. Oh, this is fucking cool, man. Excitable. Very excitable. Let's put this back in here. We know it's not a bomb now. So that's always fucking cool. Let's see what's inside this gigantic fucking box that they sent then. Because honestly, it's like kind of light. So, I mean, it's not heavy. I'm excited. We'll just go through all this shit. We'll see what the fuck is in here. Woo! Alright, so there's a good amount of bubble wrap in there that I can see off the bat. Jesus! Bunch of bubble wrap. Throw that in the trash. Slash save it for later. Hacking stuff. A lot of packing material in here. Sorry about that. All right. Whoa. You know what? Put it on the ground. Another giant ass sticker. That's pretty fucking cool. Oh shit, we got a fucking cake hoodie? Hell yeah, fucking real, bro. Okay. Okay. I still got my PJs on and shit. That's all right, though. Kind of fit. I wish they would have asked me what size I was. They're still like, a good amount of shit in this box, though. Come here. Ugh. Look at all that shit. Turn the ice up a little bit. Bunch of cards and shit. T shirt. Woo. So many goodies. 
so many goodies. I wanted to do research before we made this video because I don't know what the, half this shit is. You know what I mean? They sent me a t-shirt, a little red cake t-shirt. That's fucking cool, probably also large. XL, hey, fucking cool, man. Thank you so much, guys, over at Cake. Let's see what we got. Let's put all this shit on the table. Holy shit, this is like so much fucking stuff. All right, so, I don't even know. We're not, we're not gonna be able to go through like each of these, obviously. But, all right, so first off, a big shout out to the homies at Cake for sending all this over. And uh, apparently the cartridges and stuff are made by the same guys that make the Dab X. So, like, they really took, like, a lot of time and sh work to put into these fucking carts. I'm excited to try one of these. Let's try this, like, birthday cake, Indica. Sounds fucking good. They also have Gorilla Gru. Uh, there's so much. There's so much shit. This is an HXC cart. They got Delta 8s in here. They got Delta 10s in here. I don't even know where to start. They literally sent me so much. Some Pineapple Express, Gelato 41. Yo, this is crazy, White Woods. Gotta love the White Widow. It's literally one of my favorite strains ever. Oh my God. They sent me like, I think one of every flavor they make. Delta 10. Delta 8. All right, so literally so much fucking shit. All right, so first, for like right off the bat, we're just gonna try one of these. Then we'll kind of go into explaining like what the whole Delta 10, Delta 8, HXC like differences are. We'll do all that. Uh, I wanna try this fucking, what was this? This birthday cake, Delta 10. All right, so you just slide this bitch out the bottom like that. There's our fucking cart. Look at that shit, that shit looks nice. Slides out through the top too. Got a little mouth protector on it. Just take that off. I think it's good to go as soon as you do that. You gotta tear off the sticker at the bottom too. For airflow. Slash, you can charge it up on the bottom. Oh, that's clean as shit. That tastes really fucking good. Fucking shit hits. Yo, the airflow in these is fucking killer. It's really fucking good. That tastes fucking amazing here. I'm opening another one. <laughs> I want to open another one. <coughs> what is that? Wait, what? Wait. That's awesome. I want to I try one of the HXCs. It's Pineapple Express HXC. Try that shit. Oh, all right, so you just got to push the, like, there's these little tops, like, circles here. You see that? There's one on each side. You push that in, and you slide the bottom out, and that's where it is. Oh, these look exactly the same. It's going to be hard for me. I'm going to try this way. What do I want? Oh, that is fucking delicious. Oh, this is Pineapple Express. That's right. This is a Pineapple Express uh, HXC cart. You literally taste the pineapple in here. I wonder if they put some flavor in there or something. Like a little bit of pineapple flavor. I mean, I guess it kind of tastes just like the strain taste. That shit is fucking delish. That is fucking delish. I'm gonna put this back in here and put this back in here so I don't forget which one it is. How's that shit taste though? So good. Right? This shit is fucking flames. So honestly, like a bunch of companies have hit me up asking me to like review like their Delta 8 stuff and their Delta 10 stuff and like all these different like little like offshoots of like regular weed basically, like the, the legal weeds. But I only said yes to this company because like they're like 
fucking front running leading brand name shit you know what i mean and the same dude from the dab x actually hit me up about it and like i trust the dab x people because they're really cool they make really good products so when they told me they collabed with the people from cake to like help design like the airflow and the coil and all the shit that went into it like i already knew it was going to be like a banger so i was like hell yeah we can do that shit and honestly like what a perfect way to end the new year and like with some fucking super dope like really good tasting fucking like delta nine alternatives you know what i mean all right so now we'll get into the like the nitty gritty of everything like what is like delta 10 delta 8 and this like hxc stuff right so hxc also like apparently also known as like hhc i don't know I, there's like a really good article about this on leafly it was actually like pretty old like boomer fucking old right it was created back in 1944 by this dude named roger adams and what he did was he took like regular delta nine weed like the weed that we all like know and love is normal people weed and he added like hydrogen atoms to it so like then he created hhc or basically like this hxc stuff which tastes fucking good this pineapple express shit is amazing so basically it's like a legal version of weed right and it's like a little less potent so it's like a lot better for like beginner users because there's a lot less like paranoid effects and shit like that which is fucking dope so if like you're just starting off and you're like i don't want to get like super high to the point where like i think the cops are always coming you might be able to try this stuff out so basically from like all the stuff i've read like delta eight is kind of like uh the indica of the group right it's like kind of more like relaxed and mellow and shit and then the way they make delta 10 is more like a sativa where you get more energized and shit like that and then you got your hxc which i guess is kind of like the hybrid even though i mean they sent me like delta 10s like sativas and shit and indicas so i'm not i'm not real sure i think it's just like more based off like the strain and shit See, I'm confused now. It's 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 all kind of confusing. There is like a really good fucking, there is like a bunch of really good articles out there that I read before coming into this video because I was like, I wanted to understand. But also, here go fucking Delta 10 Sativa and fucking Indica and fucking hybrids. Like they have all that shit. So I don't fucking know, but that's what the website fucking said. That's what the website said about it. But overall, it's like, so they're starting to like make Delta 8 illegal certain places. So like they're changing shit and now they're making Delta 10. So if you're in a state where Delta 8 is illegal, you still be able to get Delta 10 products. And these new HXC things, I think are pretty much legal everywhere. It doesn't even matter. I think it's more because they haven't figured it out yet. But basically it's just like getting weed to people who still live in stupidly illegal states like the legal way and if like you get really paranoid when you smoke weed like these are a really great option because they will still get you fucking high don't get me wrong like this shit has me fucking twisted right now a little bit but also like there's very little like actual thc in them so they're basically legal everywhere so you can actually check there's like a whole state list of like which ones are legal for delta 8 which ones are legal for delta 10 or illegal because there's not many of them if it was illegal, the fucking state would be, or legal, it'd just be like almost every fucking state. But there's like websites online where you can check to see like if you can pick these up. I fucking highly recommend. These things are fucking delicious. The fucking airflow is great. The fucking hit. It's very enjoyable. Like this is very enjoyable shit, straight up. And then we got Delta 8 fucking hybrids, Indica, and Sativa. So yeah, who knows? Who really fucking knows? Overall, it's just fucking good, right? Like, this shit tastes good. <laughs> This shit tastes good, it gets you high, it's basically weed, but it's not. Uh, yeah, man, that's, I mean, if you want to look up more, I'll fucking drop the link to the Leafly site that I was looking at, and, like, a couple other ones that I was looking at down in the description, so you can click on those, take a look around and shit. But, uh, overall, man, these cake johns are fucking bangers. Don't forget to like, comment, share, oh, wait, I almost forgot to tell y'all. Something really cool that we found out is every cake product has, like, a different little symbol on the front like cut out so you can see the cards and they all represent like what they are so like this honey glue one is like a little honey thing and this delta like what is this delta 10 gorilla glue is like a little bottle of glue the green cracks like a fucking lightning bolt this birthday cake is a little cake all drippy the fucking white widow's a spider like it just keeps going this is a fucking ice cream cone because this is fucking ice cream cake it's just fucking like it's fucking dope the pineapple express one i'm smoking right now obviously has a little pineapple on it like i don't know 
Attention to detail and little things is why I fucking love companies that do shit like this. And that's that's really all I got for you guys today. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, do all that shit normal YouTubers tell you to do. If you want to see bloopers from this video and a bunch of other videos and like a bunch of like extra content, you can always head over to our Patreon, patreon.com slash flippin' loud. Also, all the links will be in the description. Links for cake will be in the comment section. Don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, all that shit normal YouTubers tell you to do at the end of their videos. I already said this part and I'll see y'all next time. Peace. Fuck! How do they really expect you to do that? Like, <laughs> this is the hardest fucking thing to cut. I don't even think I can even cut that. Look at that shit. It's like on the slide piece. They make it so difficult. Oh, you know what? You can just slide it out the bottom. I'm so dumb. How's that? Do you think we're done with the video? Was that educational enough? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. What have you taken? A few marijuana. A few marijuana.